All right, hello everyone. My name is Shep. Welcome back to the Butcher Circus. Today we're going to be playing against Little Ghost, and it looks like they are playing kind of a traditional stress team. And I am also playing a stress team, but as you might have noticed from the title of the video, this is far from a traditional stress team. We are playing stress team without any stress. So, how is that going to work? Well, I have given myself one rule. I cannot use abilities that have inflict stress on them. So I will be unable to use abilities like Beast Smile because it says inflict stress. So I've had to pick out these four characters because they don't have any of those sort of abilities with the setup I have. Except, of course, for the Abomination, but, you know, I can't remove abilities off of him. So, yeah, there's that. So, obviously, there's going to be no Bellows. There's going to be no Zealous Accusation. There's going to be no Noodles, no Tentacles from that... Uh, Occultist, there's going to be no Hounds Harry's, which is an ability I love, no Beast Smile, none of that stuff. Instead, I'm going to have to rely on Horror from the Abomination, because, I mean, without this Horror, the challenge would be totally impossible. I'm going to have to rely on Trinket to apply Stress, because it says inflict Stress, but it's not the ability that's doing Stress, it's the Trinket. So I, I see this as perfectly okay and perfectly reasonable. So I have Class with the Beast here. I have this Bounty Hunter with the Infamous Visage, which is going to be essentially kind of the same idea. I'm going to apply Caltrops first, just to do some bleeds on the enemy characters. Also, somehow I managed to fail the bleed on the Occultist. That's really unlucky. But um, I guess that's, that's okay. And... Um, yeah, I'm gonna have this infamous visage to apply stress to enemy characters when I hit them with melee abilities. So remember, it's not the abilities that are causing stress, it's the trinket. I also have the ghoul claw with the Centiquarian. Again, the same idea. I mean, the, her abilities don't do stress. I don't have Festering Vapors to actually apply stress, which would have been much, much better than what I have right here. But yeah, I can't really do much about it, so I'm forced to just go to just go nervous snap. I mean, it's still an okay-ish ability. It's it's applying some horror, but let me tell you, this is going to be a challenge and a half trying to trying to make this work. My opponent here is Darkest Rank as well. They have a pretty competent team, so I can tell you this is this is not going to be easy. And you can see uh, the ceiling spaghetti, the abyssal artillery, just applies a lot of stress and it applies horror on top. While me myself, I'm. I have a way harder time doing that. Demon's Bull doesn't apply any stress on hit, it only applies horror on hit, so I am indeed allowed to use it. Uh, I'm gonna have to go for a pull on this Man at Arms actually, even though that looks like a very silly play, and it is kind of a silly play, there just isn't much else for me to do. I can't really break that guard, so I'm kind of having a bad time here. I don't want to let that Crusader go forward, because even though Holy Lance is pretty strong, I feel like a Zealous Accusation is a lot worse, but I'm still gonna I'm still gonna push that Abomination to the back, right? Yeah, this is this is a good idea. Oh, that's a crit. That might do some stress. Okay, that's good. Yeah, fishing for crits is pretty darn nice. Uh, that's that's what's gonna help me apply more stress over here and potentially just get the edge going. I'd say. Command. All right. Interesting to go that he goes for command right now. Oh, that spaghetti is gonna hurt. Plus crit versus ranged, plus damage, plus damage. Oh, the spaghetti is gonna hurt. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> oh, it's gonna hurt like crazy. Alright, uh, maybe I want to hit that Crusader, actually. You know, maybe I do want to hit that Crusader. Let's let's go for it. Let's give him a let's give him a little stab, give him a little love tap. Kind of a min roll, honestly. I mean, totally a min roll. I would have loved a crit with this nervous stab. It's really nice when it crits. And that's a roll for 7 on each, thankfully no crits, that could have been a lot worse than what it actually was. Uh, he's gonna act with that Crusader next, I'm guessing he's probably gonna go Zealous Accusation and do some decent damage. Hopefully not too decent, hopefully he doesn't get a crit out of it. I don't really want to do anything with my Occultist, I mean I guess going for a pull to stress out that Man at Arms, but he has Bolster coming soon and he has Numbing Instance, so this is not great. This is absolutely not great. I'm just going to click the Abomination for now, just react to what this Crusader does. Maybe he gets a crit cells for 19. Uh, not quite, but that still hurts a lot. Oh my god. Okay. Do you remember when I said maybe no crits? <laughs> yeah, that's not no crits. That's a double. And I told you, if I let him get cells off, this is going to be a lot worse for me. And I was not lying. I could go for preemptive heals right now. 
Ah, is that really gonna save me? Ah, it could help, but no, I need to do some stress. Yeah, I'm gonna do just a little bit of more horror to that call to that man at arms. Yeah, this is not looking great. This is not looking great. Do I have any sort of advantage here? Let's be honest. Is there any advantage that I can firmly say, yes, I do have this going for me? Well, I have a naval nation that's kind of in a better position. I have a bount uh, bounty hunter that can actually get some death blows if I'm lucky. I do have stuns as well, so that definitely helps me out a bit. And that man arms is kind of useful, but he's also not going to be too useful. He's kind of just making the occultist more useful. That's all he's doing right now. And uh, I kind of want to push the crusader, but I kind of want to wait as well. So we have to go for this uh, nervous tab. Okay, that's a max roll this time. That's a lot better. Uh, oh, imagine if I could use the sacrificial stab right now. I'd just be able to kill that crusader. Damn, maybe I should have put this antiquarian in position 4. Thing is, I didn't want my occultist to get pulled, because then I would be unable to use demon's pull and just be totally useless. Uh, norm- what the hell is that stupid sound? Did someone try calling me on Steam? What was that? Okay, just ignore that. Um, the thing is, usually you don't really know how to run with the occultist, but this time it was very clear. I literally can't run these three abilities, so I'm, I'm forced to go with this setup. Yeah, and uh, yeah, my friend David is saying, sorry, I touched the wrong button. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that you touched the wrong button. <laughs> it's it's fine. Ooh, that's actually a nice crit. Okay, that's gonna do some stress, gonna do some stress healing. Look at the horror on that man at arms, 38. He's gonna eat barely anything, though. He has bolster and uh, numbing incense. Yeah, it's not really gonna matter all that much. Well, he goes for that, which means I can now drop an uppercut. Or do I drop a finish him instead? Uh, finish him will be met with a weird reconstruction, which could definitely heal for a lot, or it could heal for not very much. But if it heals for a lot, I'll be very sad. I'm gonna drop an uppercut here, just push that crusader to the back again. Actually, daze him. That daze could be very helpful. Yeah, that daze could indeed be very helpful. How much longer is that guard lasting? Yeah, for a while. It's going to be a weakening curse. Uh, that's a lot of stress. That is a lot of stress. Oh, that hurts. That hurts a lot. Okay. Okay, I have decisions to do here. Uh, should I heal this bounty hunter is the question. And how? How should I heal him? Maybe I should just... Maybe I should just push that abomination again. And if he wants to go for a kill with the occultist, then so be it. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go for that. I'm just gonna push the A-bomb again, push him to position 4. And uh, if he wants to kill my bounty hunter right now with the occultist, then fine, do it. I dare you. I dare you to go for it. Oh my god, he does. This could actually be such a huge mistake. He gets it! Oh, that sucks. Just the immediate 25. Damn, that really sucks that he actually gets something like that. Alright, alright. Uh, it's not the end of the world though, because I'm gonna have a kill shot on that Crusader. And uh, that kill shot on the Crusader is going to be what potentially wins me the match here. I'm going to go for the Nervous Stab first. Let's, let's get it. Yeah, nice. Nice damage. Or on top as well. And uh, right now I'm going to have a few ways of dealing with him. Oh, I might have made a mistake. I might have made a mistake here. Uh, I'm, yeah, I could have gone for the pull first. And then I could have transformed with the Abomination and done something. Yeah, maybe I should have done that. Uh, no, it wouldn't have been too fast anyway, because I'd have to act with the Antiquarian best, so I would have, I would have been still unable of getting the death blow after he guarded. But it would have probably been a better position for me, but right now I can't do anything, actually. Uh, well, I can pull here again, I guess. Yeah, this is so weird having to use this stupid occultist, because no, normally Sijin Embrace is a good ability, but none of my characters do actually any stress, so it's just not helping me at all. Which isn't too good. Is that a self-hit? Or a <laughs> self-mark? Nice, that's all you like to see. That's totally useless, obviously. He goes for a heal. Okay, that's not too bad for us. I'm gonna transform here. I don't have any damage debuffs, so I could maybe do some decent damage to this occultist. 12 to 22, is it worth going for it? Or should I go for a rake instead? Rake is 6 to 11, 6 to 11 isn't all that much. Come on, rage! Yes! Rage crit! Oh, that is wonderful. Oh, that is wonderful. Can we actually win this match? 
Oh, if my bounty hunter just survived that 25, that was so bull crap. I, I can't say bad words. That was so bull crap that we didn't survive that 25. I hated it. I absolutely hated it. Okay, I'm gonna um, de transform stun. I think that's the best play for us. Just prevent the sought machine heal from coming through and uh, potentially get a death blow as well. So let's do that. Let's get a stun on top and just enjoy our, our position here. That abomination is still alive and kicking. Uh, yeah, that's definitely not too good. That's going to be the priority target after this occultist goes down. He's going to go command, actually. Ah, interesting. Interesting stuff. He's going to let me maybe get to kill. Ah, uh, occultist. Occultist, occultist. You can't, you can't really reach for the kill. And uh, we go for this. We don't get it. But we do get to go first next round anyway. So we might just be able to get some death blows going here. He's probably going to heal now. Uh, he's probably going to heal that occultist. I mean, it's what I would do. If I were him. Is that... Uh, oh, that's a Holy Land sacked out. Okay, is that enough damage? Oh, it is. Oh, just enough as well. Down. Alright, that's not too good. But at least it pushes the... At least it pushes the Abomination back to a position where he doesn't want to be. So there's that at the very least. Do I really want to go for another pull on this man? Arms? No, I'll just go for a self-heal. We heal for 8 and we bleed ourselves as well. It could have been a lot better than that. Yeah, that's not too good of a weird reconstruction. Could have also been worse, but it could have been a lot better. Kind of just wish I had more of a dirty character here, like a flagellant or something, but I can't even use punish. Oh, he's gonna be forced to pass! Oh, that's nice. That's pretty nice. Okay, he's gonna act now, and I'm gonna go for the death blow with the antiquarian. It's gonna be my only shot, because after that he's just gonna go for the self-heal and then heal with the... Uh, Deal with the Crusader and do all that sort of. Uh... Oh my God! Oh, 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 what is this game about? He's immediately gonna go for it, and he gets an almost max roll. Okay, seriously, what's up with my RNG? What is up with my RNG? Why am I being punished right now? Because I am being punished. I am not even joking. Look, immediate twenty-five death blow. Immediate pass. I mean, kind. Of, that's essentially a pass by this, uh, by this uh, antiquarian, and uh, not getting the death blows on that occultist. It's just bull crap. Yeah, this is ridiculous right now. There is no justice in this world. I'm just gonna go for a self heal here because doing anything else would be honestly kind of silly. I don't want to pull that abomination because you know that's literally pulling an abomination. <laughs> And uh, I don't want to... I can't hit the occultist. I don't want to do more stress with this man arms right now, because he was going to get afflicted anyway at that point, so really not that useful. I'm going to drop a bellow now. He's going to debuff my damage a little bit, but I can't transform anymore, sadly. I can't also be spile and... You know, I can't also move backwards and be spile. I'm just stuck to spamming manacles for the rest of the match. So yeah, here we go, manacles it is. Oh, that's a little bit of stress. Okay, that's an affliction, that could be that could be helpful. Can you imagine if I had like festering vapors? I would have just been able to destroy this team. Just absolutely destroy it, I'm not even joking. I would just shred through these characters like a hot knife through butter. But um, yeah, not quite. Oh, he refuses to heal. Well, I guess you heal the mana arms instead. Oh, to the flame is so OP. At least it's still dropping him, kind of. Yeah, it is still kind of dropping him. Abomination is going to go afflicted, which is pretty nice. Abusive, that might move him forward. Please don't move him forward. Please, 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 please. And it doesn't, thankfully. He's going to move forward. Irrational doesn't say no. I would have loved for that Irrational to say no. But uh, you can't have every everything you want in the world. Uh, he's going to remove that guard, so I might actually wait for that uh, for my occultist round. First, I could uh, go for a stun on that A-bomb, or I could go for another stab on that Occultist. I'm gonna go for a stab with the Occultist. My damage has been heavily reduced because I went paranoid, which sucks. Well, there goes my stun. <laughs> she decides to, to daze the Abomination. Good job, Antiquarian. Good job. 7 to 13. Ah, oh, almost enough damage as well. Damn. Okay, but that's pretty good, actually. The bleed that he got from Weird Reconstruction was actually good. I forgot to mention that, but that's really helping me right here. And um, the horror on top is really helpful. Oh, actually moves back. That could also be great. He's gonna guard again. 
Okay, I guess that means I'm gonna have to go demon spawn something else or fearful pass. Sure. Whatever you say, Chief. Uh, that's. Yeah, that's a pass. What can you do? Irrational marks himself again. Nice. We love these irrational act outs, don't we? We absolutely love irrational act outs. They're totally useless. 50 dodge actually working for me, thankfully. And uh, I go afflicted hopeless. That could be a very bad one. It could also be good because I can move back. But I can't use V Spile. Do I break the rules is the question. Do I break the rules and use an ability that actually inflicts stress? I really want to do it, but I can't. Those are the rules. And I cannot break the rules. I mean, Beast Spile right here. Oh, it's tempting me so much. But I can't do it. I have to go for a useless stun. Oh, but I do get it, actually. I do hit the stun. Yeah, it's just... I can't use it. It's just tempting me, but I really can't do it. It's ridiculous, honestly. It's ridiculous. Wait, he still has another transformation. My goodness. Wow, he still hasn't transformed this entire time. For, for the second time. That's so weird. Okay, since he moves forward there, and there's a little bit of horror on that Crusader... I honestly can't resist just going for a demon spool right now. I feel like I feel like I have to go for it. You know, just go for the demon spool, apply extra horror. That's really gonna hurt him. That's really gonna injure him right now. And depending on what he does, he might be totally screwed here. Yeah, especially if I had beast file. But shh, don't don't mention it. Don't mention my lack of beast file. That's almost enough horror. Not quite enough to kill him. He goes for the cell accusation. Not. Not really that threatening at this point. And now we're gonna go for a death ball that occultist 73. We don't get the kill again somehow. He just stays alive. That is brutal. He survived so much. He survived three death blows. But uh, the horror is catching up to him. Look at the amount of stress we've been able to do just from the horror and, uh, you know, all the things that have been going down. And that's gonna be... Uh, Okay, that is actually getting me pretty close to afflicted here. Uh, that occultist is essentially dead. I move forward, I guess. I guess. I'm gonna I'm gonna use absolution here. It's kind of a waiting move because there's really no point going manacles right now against the stun man at arms. And the occultist is is dead, so I don't really have to do anything against him. Can you believe I'm actually in the winning spot here? Even with the bullshit RNG that we got. Is this team, is the stress team without stress just way too strong? I, I think it is. I think it is. I mean, we've just been able to disrupt him like crazy. That abomination has been useless. And usually, I don't mind having an abomination position 4 because I just get to do my things. But this occultist has just been delegated to healing and being defensive and being in position 1 for ages. And that abomination has just been able, unable to do the things he wants to do. I think I kind of just got the drop on him with the pulls and the, and the slams. And that's been... Very difficult to push through. At least that's what I can see out of this. I'm gonna go for a nervous stab. I don't really want to go for a pull with my with my uh, occultist anymore because if I do that, what's gonna happen is uh, I'm just gonna clear the corpse and the abomination will start being useful again. And that's really not that good. Yeah, this is actually not too good. Once once the abomination goes be smile, I'm totally screwed here. Yeah, I'm totally screwed, and I can't go for anything else other than nervous stabs and heals with this um, with this occultist. So yeah, we're not doing as great as it looks, let's be honest. I calls a self-mark, wonderful, those are the act-outs you want to see, <laughs> one damage. We get the stun anyway, we just get the double 25% stun, that is so bull crap. Yeah, that is really stupid, that is really really stupid. Anyway, moving on, I... Uh, nervous stab for one? Look at that crit chance, so I could get a crit out of it. Remember this, that this Man Arms is taking zero stress, and he's also taking essentially zero damage. All the damage that he's taken has pretty much been from caltrips. I just I just can't hurt him. I can't do any DOT because all my DOT would apply... I would apply stress on top, so I just have to go for this and do one damage. Oh, the act out. It does stress, though. Yeah, the act out does stress. Okay, that's better than nothing then, I guess. And uh, he's probably gonna move forward now. Oh, the hit! Oh my god, the hit from the abomination, the abusive A-bomb. 
just destroying that men at arms with the DOT, applying four blight for three rounds, that's beautiful. Oh, a bomb, that really wasn't a play. I really had to get this done right now. Yeah, Beast Vile is gonna hurt. Uh, yeah, that's just some stress. Beast Vile is really gonna hurt right now. Okay, at least we get one dodge. And yeah, that's... Uh, that's gonna hurt me quite a bit. I mean, I will be alive to, to tell the tale, but that is indeed gonna hurt a little much. I'm gonna click here. I'm probably gonna go for self-heal at this point. I feel like that's the play I have. Let's see, we get to roll for four. He's dead. Yeah, he's dead, sadly. We don't roll for enough, and now that's gonna be a, a dead occultist by the start of the next round, so that's definitely not good at all. I'm thinking of going take cover and so I can, so I can use regen on my Abon. I feel like that could be the play here. But even if I go take cover, what's gonna happen is peace file anyway. Uh, is Nervous to have a play here? Well, there's no command, his hit chance is like 50, maybe even less because of abusive. Is Nervous Stab the play? Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Oh, I get hit. I get hit, at least I don't, I don't get blighted, so could have been worse. But yeah, that was definitely not too good. And uh, the Men Arms is still alive, which sucks. Oh, I should have been able to get the stun, this is so bad, he's gonna get manacles now as well. And I am going to be stunned. It's because I have more actions than him that this is happening. Well, is there any way I can maybe save this occultist? Well, it's going to be rough, but... Uh, maybe. Maybe I can still save him. At least he drops the repast. If I regen, does he stay alive? Oh my god, he does. Oh, that is beautiful. Okay, he might stay alive because of the regen. I might be able to do an action with him. Oh, that is just wonderful. Yeah. Wait, I have 7 HP with the regen, and I'm taking 3 dots. Yeah, he's gonna stay alive, actually. He's gonna drop a command, I'm not sure that was the play for him. Please do anything but a pass. Anything but a pass. Okay, there we go. Uh, pull on the men at arms, or pull on the A-bomb. If I pull the A-bomb, the only thing that's coming is manacles. And not be smiles, so definitely pull the A1. We get a crit for it as well. Oh, that's nasty. That's 50 horror applied. Thing is, Demon's Pull and Tentacles actually apply even more horror after you after you get a crit with it. So it's really, really nice when those actually work. Yeah, though I am kind of in danger here. My A1's in absolute danger. So is the occultist. He's not quite dead. Actually, is he dead because of the monkey's fall? Ah, oh, he. Oh, stupid monkey spots, making him take enough stress. Oh, the Antigrind would have doofed him anyway. Yeah, the Antigrind would have doofed him anyway, so it wouldn't have really saved me. I'm gonna go for the stun now, 90% chance of getting it, thankfully. Thankfully, we do get that stun. I can't allow him to just get, like, uh, I mean, if he drops a bell right now, it's not the end of the world. And he's gonna drop a bell, he's gonna cause two heart attacks, but I have regions, and I have, uh, I'm gonna have heart attack recoveries as well. So, I'm gonna say that this is actually not too bad, just with, just with those bellows existing. I'm thinking whether I want to kill the Men at Arms or I want to go for the A-Bomb. Both are reasonable, but just getting the Men at Arms out of here is probably a good idea. It is a good idea, isn't it, Shep? Yeah, it is definitely a good idea, but he went paranoid with Bolster, so he has 21 dodge somehow. <laughs> oh, that's really nasty. That is one nasty man. Paranoid could do stress. Does it do does it do nine stress though? I doubt it. I don't have any stress dealt trinkets. I doubt that it does nine stress with an act out. So I'm gonna go for this now. This time I hit, I apply some horror on top. Is it gonna do enough over time? Probably I mean like I'm thinking it's doing like five. So it's actually probably not enough. I want to use it, but I can't. I have to go for another stun. It's a uh, 40. We don't get it. Ooh, that's bad. Ooh, that is bad. Maybe I should have gone for an absolution here. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Come on, act out. Okay, that's a little bit of stress. That's good. Manacles, that's definitely going to do enough. Okay, here's the thing. I'm going to have to kill this man at arms right now, or I'm just going to lose. Yeah, I have to kill the man at arms, or I don't have a, a winning chance. <laughs> the day is on top. Stop abusing this oh, A-bomb. You've hit him twice already. I'm gonna go for this. Thankfully I get the death blow. 
and he doesn't have a way of actually getting rid of my abomination unless he gets um, unless he gets a 40% death blow. So the fact that my antiquarian actually decided to hit him might be horrible for me right now because he might get the death blow. Thankfully, we survive, and we survive this stun as well. So I'm just gonna click and go for the absolution here. <laughs> Mark myself, nice. <laughs> the best act out, yeah. That's the one we love. And uh, right now I can choose between the nervous stab and a regen. I feel like regen here is an obvious choice. It's really gonna hinder his uh, his manacles damage output. And um, yeah, it's just gonna make life a lot easier for me. So I'm gonna drop it, even though I'm gonna get stunned in the process. I feel like this is a okay. He's barely doing any damage with that manacles, which is surprising, and actually considering he's abusive and uh, has a damage buff. How is he doing that little? I only have 10 prot. I guess he doesn't have any trinketing for it. No, 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 I know what's, what's his. Uh, I know what the problem was for his team right here. Let me tell you. His problem was that he's using Wretch's Cloak in second and Class of the Beast in first. If you want to know how to set up your trinkets, always put Wretch's, Wretch's Cloak in the first position and then you go with your secondary trinket. Please do not do this. This is just cursed. And uh, well, that is kind of cursed. If that was a crit, I would have died. I mean, if that did... No, it was a crit. But if that did a little more damage and uh, dropped me down to zero, I would have died there with uh, Antiquarian. But I feel like at this point, I might just have this match on lock. How much stress am I doing, actually? Six? Is that doing nine? It's, if it's doing nine, I might just win here. Let's see. Oh, no, it's doing seven. It's doing seven. Yeah, it's not quite enough. But right now, we're just going to go nervous stab. Not a death blow, but the horror. The horror from this nervous stab. So right now, I'm just... I'm just gonna pass, I don't even care. I did not break the challenge, I completed this challenge. I'm gonna make my opponent surrender on top. I mean, he knows that he's already lost from the horror. I have done this challenge. Thank you, thank you Mr. Little Ghost for actually letting me get through this horrible cursed team at the first try, that was absolutely insane. So I think you should really try this. There's a lot of different setups you can go for. Uh, what I was originally thinking of is was making more use of um, something like removing these two and I would have Man at Arms and Doggy. So Doggy would be dodge tanking with his um, class specific trinkets. Let me see if I can find them. He would be dodge tanking with the padded arm guard and the monkey spa. So obviously no Hounds Harry, I would instead have something like Cry Havoc maybe. And he would just be dodge tanking, spamming that guard dog on the Abomination, while the Man at Arms would be doing a mix and match of Repast, fishing for crits with that stress, and also guarding the, um, guarding the Bounty Hunter and uh, maybe helping him do some stuff with the Infamous Visage, while the A-Bomb gets the transformations off and gets a lot of damage off from the guards and the command buffs. So you know that you do more damage while you're guarded, and with that damage, the Bounty Hunter would be able to do some kills with the finisher. But then I eventually thought, like, well, that would be more of a damage team with some stress on top, you know. That would be less of a stress team, so eventually I just decided, uh, you know what, let's bring out the Antiquarian Occultist combo. This this combo is on awesome, it is wonderful, and it did indeed work, somehow. <laughs> the disruption is just amazing on this team. You have three disrupting characters, it's brutal. You have the Demon's Pool, you have the Slam, you have the Come Hither, you have the Uppercut. Yeah, the disruption on this is ridiculous. And all of them are applying stress at the same time because of the infamous Visage, even the Uppercut does stress while you're ticking away at their HP with the Caltrops. Yeah, this team is just actually reasonable. I'd say the Antiquarian really is just... I mean, her Nervous Stabs did okay. Yeah, they did okay, but Festering Vapors would have helped me so much more. But yeah, a reasonable team. Give it a try if you want. Maybe try completing the challenge, the stress team without any stress challenge. And um, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you again another time. Cheers.